right here. And now if we run on down, I'm doing the Let Them Eat Pie quest right now. <coughs> you know, my throat still hurts from earlier. Alright, let me see if I remember how to do this right. I know that you need the fishing bait from here. Along with something else from in here. What do you need right here? Some wheat, I guess. Um, and it's going to tell you to go up to the, um, the mill to make flour. Right up here, I think. Up the stairs. Right here. Oh, I missed it. Put some weed in. Put some fish bait in. Dang it. Alright. The little delay that I'm getting is awful. Hmm. There should be a bucket right here. Or a pot. Pot works too. Alright. Take flour. And you get the maggoty flower. Alright. Now I gotta go back up and talk to Nails Newton. Okay. What's up, Nails Newton? Alright. Alright, let's see here. Alright, crayfish up to the animal pen. So it's me level two fishing. All right, a crawfish is done. I don't know what you would call it. Um, let me just harvest my potato real quick. Quite a level yet, but close. Got five potatoes from that one. Let's go ahead and just replant them now. Can I use the crayfish on this? No. Says you don't need to make a terrible pie right now. I thought that was the point of the quest. Hmm. There we go. One thing left. Add a potato. Alright. I should have kept one of my potatoes, but oh well. Oh, too tired to run. Definitely said trade. 
Alright, raw potato. Alright, so now I have a raw, um, terrible pie. Let's run down here. Gotta go cook it, then I could go deliver it, and then the quest is pretty much done. And I could move on to the next part of the tutorial. Alright. 9 XP from the fishing level, or from the cooking level, not too bad. Alright, there's a guy down here I have to pickpocket for some of the spice. And the spice should mask this thing. Pickpocket. Sorry that the noise just suddenly got louder. But, um, been. Where I just put my fan on because it's pretty hot in here, so. Now it's a mouth watering pie. I don't think spice could do that much. But nonetheless, let's go deliver the pie and pretty much complete the quest. Um, this quest took me longer than expected, but oh well. God, that dude's fat. <coughs> Alright, my I feel like my fan's too loud, so I want to turn it off, but it's just too hot. Um, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. What's it called? Let's pick a good name for it. Um, Squishy Crushed Belly Filler. Hmm. All right, this should be this should be the end of the quest right here. Um, it's gonna say that he got sick, and I'm gonna have to go upstairs to get the or open the chest, and then give the stuff to Nails Newton, and then that'll be it. Um, I remember doing this quest on my main right when the new birth up came out. Five, four, three, two, oh god. I think I've had enough. Okay, and <laughs> Alright, the dialogue for this quest is somewhat funny, but doesn't change the fact that it's an extremely boring quest to do. Right. Alright. So what do I need to do now? Go and steal the seal. Alright, stealing the seal it is.
Alright, well, I'm going to pause the recording for right now, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, guys, sorry about that. Um, but the quest is pretty much done now. I had to go talk to my mom about something, but... Basically, all I did was take the seal to, um... Nails and have him stamp a letter. Now... I should go and tell Nails... And this quest should hopefully get me some thieving XP. I want to try and get done as many quests as possible, even though I'm going for the max cape, not the completionist cape or quest cape or anything. But it'll still be nice to get the XP rewards from them, along with whatever other benefits they give you. Alright. One second, my mom's calling me again. I just got back, and actually I don't have a charger yet again, but I'm at about 40% battery, so I should be fine to finish off making this video, and I had my two daily spins along with the two spins that I got from completing that quest, so that's why I had the four spins on Squeal of Fortune right when I got it on, and a small amp on agility isn't even going to do much because my agility level is at one, so it won't give near as much XP as it normally would. And I actually got really lucky getting that steel longsword there. That's the best weapon that I could use for a while. Of course, I'm not level 5 attack, so I won't be able to use it right away. But, you know, it still helps out in the long run. Um, let's go ahead and see how much agility XP it gets. Not even one full level. That wasn't really too... Or, I mean, that wasn't, like, not expected or anything. Just because, um... Obviously, because it's a uh, level 1 agility, it's not going to give near as much XP. So, that's not too bad. And now I guess I'm going to be learning about the Slayer skill. Um, which is pretty good because that's one of my favorite skills. Now you talk to Jack Lynn Manslaughter, that's a really weird name. <coughs> uh, my throat still hurts, but I'm sorry about that. But, um... Yada yada yada. Get a slayer assignment so you could learn to slay bizarre monsters. My first slayer assignment is gonna be the uh yeah, the gluteus abominations, whatever they're called. And I guess I need to kill five of them. Um you also don't you I also am gonna need the enchanted gem that he just gave me. Now let's also grab some spiked gauntlets because I know that I know that I need those for the, this task also. And now we're the spiked gauntlets, and I should say that I have five of them left. Um, along with some new music tracks once I start going down there. Um, I've already unlocked 14 music tracks, so that's not too bad. Um, and it looks like Brobson's on right now, yeah he is. Oh, I should have gone into world uh, 22. That's what I meant to do, because I have 92 and 22 is my home worlds. 22 is the max cape from scratch world, and 92 is usually the world that I PVM with my friends on, so, for my main. And now, um, Intraped Adventure. Let's go, blah, 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 blah. And once I kill the big dude that's down there, it should say that I have, um... It should say that I have four more left. I'm pretty sure that the big guy counts as one of them. But I know that there are a few different, um... Or I know that there's the huge one and then there's all these little types here. So, you know, the source of them, so... And I don't know why RuneScape is taking after every other MMO. By giving, um, Ariane here a bit of a short skirt, you know. Especially when she, like, steps forward. Not to be a little, like, 13-year-old about it, but... You know, almost every medieval game, uh, advertises with... Uh, females like that, so... And that's my mind spec... Or my mind spike, but Sorry about that. And the bones. And now it should say I have four left. Nope, still five. Guess that that didn't count. Alright. Okay. Okay. Job well done. Alright. 
and she uses the desert treasure uh, teleport even though later on in the game if you talk to her you find out that she doesn't actually know that stuff until she leaves the wizard tower um yeah I'm trying to complete a slayer assignment if it doesn't give me all these freaking pop-ups of what to do and I know that I'm already attacking it but I want to click it again is that a problem I hate that pop-up like you're already mining this or you're already attacking this so you don't need to click it again but it just keeps my mind busy, just having something to do. And it looks like this upload was complete. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Google Chrome. That way I'm a little bit less laggy. And some grimy guam, not too bad. My very first Slayer loot. Um. Alright. These things are all level 2, and I believe this thing only gives shared XP, so. But I am almost at an attack level, which is pretty good, because once I get 5 attack, I'll be able to use that steel longsword. But I, I want to do the troll invasion while I'm still at like level, somewhere below level 5, that way the Dwarven Army X is good for it. And I got a free longbow and a gold charm, not too bad. Um, should have three left. Once again, I'm apologizing for the boringness of some of these videos, but I want you guys to be able to, like, be with me from the very beginning, you know. I want you guys to be able to have seen every step of the way. That way you guys could really feel like you were there helping me out along the way once I do get the max cape, if I do get the max cape. And I'm only going to get it on one of the two accounts that I made for the max cape from scratch. Either this one or the one that I previously had, because this one obviously is my newer one because the other one ran out of membership. But, um, see that drop? I swear it's like every drop is actually decent when you're doing a max cave from scratch. You know, you see the purpose in almost every drop. Besides, of course, like iron weaponry or steel weaponry when you already have better than that because stuff like that doesn't even elk for much much less is it much use to you I mean I guess if you would want to like welfare PK or something and actually what I think is somewhat overpowered about this series is if you really wanted to go to like world 16 or something whatever is the popular PKing worlds is a level 3 with the dwarven uh, battle axe and get your fishing and cooking up and get a full inventory like shrimp and just go out and kill looters but I'm not gonna actually do that I may try PKing on this account once I get a higher level but it's gonna take uh, quite a while because you know you need to like make your own gear and stuff and one iteming is not allowed so I mean I'll probably end up using something like a Karasi primary and a uh Crossy primary and spec weapon, and then like full rune, or maybe if I have it at the time, full uh, barrows, because I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of barrows, and hopefully I could get like two or three different sets. And I'm low on health and need to heal, but doesn't that just suck? Oh yeah, and I forgot I could wear this those spice amulet thing to make my food work or heal even more than it normally would. So that's pretty helpful. Now let's see here. I should have like one or two left to go. Um, I've completed my task. I must return to a Slayer Master. All right. Um, summon a Spirit Wolf as my companion. That probably means that I'm gonna need to go and do the Wolf Whistle quest. Um. Pretty sure that's what it's telling me to do right now, but speak to Mage Strix, whoever that is. Alright, I'm gonna probably um get off for a little while in a minute because I'm down to 30% battery again. So yeah, the battery's really been the restricting element today. Um and it's already 2 o'clock today, so I don't know if I'll be able to get my goals. 
Hopefully that I can, hopefully I can get right around level five Slayer in like level five ish every melee stat. You know what? Just trade him. Do this, this. And I can't stand what's in that mode, so let's do this and this. And then go here and do this. Didn't mean to do that again. Alright, making a daring rescue from the house up there. I really wish I had a terror bird right now to uh, give me the run energy. And I'm going to be stealing cakes in a little bit. Along with maybe some other stuff. Alright, jump over this. Go in rescue her and let the druids uh, put out the fire need both hands free all right um if we work together I'm sure we can get out of here and Alright, yes, yes, let's go then, blah, blah, blah. Jump over the destroyed floor. And now there should be that little cutscene where the druids put out the fire. I thought I just heard something come, coming from my cheese it box, it sounded like. It sounds like my cheese it box is like vibrating, but that could just be my ears ringing because I'm running on such little sleep. Ugh. Oh, never mind, that's my phone right behind the cheese it box. Okay. It was nothing. Blah blah blah, rabbit sandwich, shield in no time, oh thanks. Alright, now... That's the steel X part of the, um... Whatever it's called. Now I need to go help this mom whose daughter is trapped. And you need a longbow for it, but I already have one, so... Okay... Maybe you tried throwing a rope... Alright, one sec, she gave me some rope... Now I need to attach the rope to an arrow... But I need some uh, wood first. Oh, I didn't mean to chop the old oak. Now let's go um, get these. And I'll just take these feathers. Along with making some... um. Oh crap, I definitely just clicked add to bonfire on accident. I'm so used to before they had the whole bonfire option where if you just clicked on it, it would bring up the knife option. But even before that, before the tool belt was even out, you had to click on the um, knife and then click on the log. Alright, this should bring me up to about 14, or that brings me up to 14 brown zeros along with the bow. Oh, why is it telling me to set a fire? What does that have to do with saving this woman? Light. Alright. And someone just got the completionist cape. I don't care about adding a log to the fire. There we go. And I could shoot the rope. 
And it looks like I hit her hand, but I didn't. And then somehow she's just skilled enough to climb up the rope. See, if I was like a two-year-old girl or whatever she is, I don't think I would be able to climb up a rope all the way across there. Alright, thank me. No problem. Glad I could help. Found something shiny in the lake for me. Hope it's a piece to my Torgan Army X because I know it will be. Um, shiny thing is an attach is an attachment. Blah. So now I wonder if I could check what all I have. No, I haven't. All right, now, now it's asking me to add logs to a bonfire. <coughs> so let me just do that real quick. Let's go ahead and chop this one log, add it to a bonfire, and get a wood cutting level up, and get a fire making level up. What's a short bow? Why do I need a short bow when I have a long bow? Giggity giggity, that's what she said. Knife, short bow. Ooh, and I also got this uh, wooden knot, which I could craft for some crafting XP. And once I get a Lapras Luze, whatever it's called, gem, I will get that. And now let's go ahead and pick some flax along with... Oh, I feel like doing the potatoes again, but I don't really want to. Eh, but I might as well. I kind of need to to get the farming XP. And there's level 2 farming. So this is where all levels start really getting speedy. Um, level 3 farming shouldn't be too far away. 65 XP, so not too bad. Alright. I just hope that I can get level for like uh, different herbs and whatnot. Because that's the best thing to farm, not to mention almost every Slayer task drops herb seeds. So, now let's use this on this. And use this on this. Fletching XP. Alright, I'm at 23% battery again, so... Alright, now I guess I'm going to do the herb herbler part of the um, thing. Oh boy, I hate this quest, the druidic ritual quest. I don't think, I don't even know if I've done the new version of it yet though. Um. Can I learn herbler, blah blah blah. Brew an attack potion. He should have all the stuff right here for me. Not to mention I already have a clean Guam. So if I want to, I could buy some more vials of water and eyes of newts to make more potions. I can make some more attack potions, but if I buy that, I can make two more. Now that... Complete the Druidic Ritual quest. This should be about the time that I turn off the tutorial because I hate this quest, but I gotta get it done, so. Not to mention it'll get me some more Rublar XP to get it done. Um, what do you need help with? Blah, 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 blah. Hold back the Troll Invasion. God of Balance. I'm pretty sure I've heard of that before. Alright, how can I help with this? Alright. So just really boring stuff. Fishing rod, chisel, and coins. Now the 15 Eyes of Newts and uh, Noted Quams are going to be good. The Squeal of Fortune Spins are good. And the 4 quest points are, of course, going to help. So what do you need help with? Yada yada yada. Oh, I accidentally exited out of that. Damn it. 
I gotta listen to this all again, and I wanna go take that wooden knot, cause I know it's worth, um, 500 GP or whatever it is. Alright. Accept. Right now, I gotta go talk to someone. Talk to Sandview. Pretty sure he's in the house across from the summoning house. Um. No, it doesn't look like. Oh, yep, he is. All right. That little bitch. Too tired to run. Oh my god. Fucking stairs. I hate them. Talk to Sandview. Alright. Been sent to make an ointment. Oh, this is this quest. I did do the new version of this on my other Maxscape from Scratch account. Okay, I'll go do that. God, I hate this quest. You gotta go down around the lake where the lady, or around where the lady of the lake is. And you need to go, and there will be, like, fish and stuff that you need to chip off their scales of. You need to get a vial of special water. And you need to... Yeah, this is gonna cost GP to catch these things. Cause you need to use GP as bait for fishing. Yep, slowly eating away at my GP. And here's the big catch of the day. I don't get how that doesn't get you like 50 million fishing XP from catching that thing. I mean, in game it looks just about the same size as a shark. I don't need the stonefish now that I have its scale. Oh, these things I need. Wait, did I get one? What? The fuck? Damn it. The fuck is this? Alright, and then the other one is up by the Lady of the Lake, it looks like. Um, I believe it's down by the caves where the gluteus abominations or whatever they're called are. Yeah, it looks like it. 18% battery, but we're a good 33 minutes in, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna finish up this quest and then get going. And then hopefully later tonight I'll be able to stay up pretty late and hammer out a lot of these skills. Um, I'd like to get level 5 in most of them at least. Level 5 mining, level 5 smithing, level 5 crafting, level 5 cooking, fire making, wood cutting. Um, Hunter would be nice. Uh, level 5 rune crafting could be nice if I do the rune mysteries quest, but I don't think I'm going to. Not yet, anyways. Let's go ahead and put my dwarven army axe back on. And I haven't even loaded up any of the lodestones yet, and my other max cape from scratch kind of had all the way up to like Ardo and or however you say that place, the place with the red banner, or a doin, or however it's, whatever it's called, fuck it. Let's collect these waters, and get some troll lieutenant bones. Damn it, I did not mean to attack you. I meant to get bones for a free 20 prayer XP. One hit, you're a noob, get on my level. Wait, let's see what it dropped. Oh, just more Guam. Alright, well because I'm 
I need as many herbs as I can get. That's no, I fucking clicked Guam. So many people have gotten Max Cape and Comp Cape today. I really want to get that on my main, but I don't feel like putting in the time. Um, basically, when I'm not playing on this account, I'm going to be going towards Comp Cape on my main. Like, getting all the quests done is my current goal. Then I'm going to be getting a uh, 99 fire making. Then 99 in all combat skills. Then 99 wood cutting. Then probably 99 rune crafting. Then I don't even know after that. But it shouldn't take me too long because I do play quite a bit. So even though how much I play doesn't even really matter that much because I looked it up the other day and my uh out of all time that I've played and out of all the XP that I've gained I get an average of about 18k XP per hour on my main so I really want to make the average for this account like at least 50k XP per hour but that will be pretty tough because there's gonna be a lot of times where I'm just running around <clears throat> In like all the running around and everything is gonna slow down my XP per hour. All of my um any bank standing, any events that we do like boss or anything, any of the slower skills that I do, any time that I'm gathering materials needed for a skill. Alright, well I have my potion now, so I'm gonna get going. Um, as soon as I do my two Squirrel of Fortune spins that I get for this. And then I will see you guys probably later today with yet another video, but we'll see about that. Um, this dude's about to ask, did it work? Yep. Now he's about to say, well, I guess it did once the stuff all turns green. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. See, I'm smart. I've done this before. Alright, there's a few herbler levels. Pretty nice. And it unlocked me the attack mix. Alright, let's go for that lucky army chain skirt I see. Nope, They're just a magic XP lamp. I don't even think I'm going to use that magic XP lamp right away. I think I might get like level 5 magic first. The Dungeoneering one I'll use right away just because Dungeoneering is just like an awful skill. Well, not an awful skill, but I hate using lamps in it because it, it um, all the XP that you get in the skill should be going towards tokens. But if you use lamps, then that doesn't really work that well. So I'm going to have to end this commentary right now. See you guys later.